Hey guys and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial here today with the topic of underpasses and sunken roads. Um, well, not really underpasses, but sunken roads. Um, so what I created here, and this is, yeah, nothing special indeed. I started with a road at, um, yeah, ground level. This goes down to minus 1.25, that goes down to minus and 12.5 meters or units. And as you can see, like the slope is slightly different here and with the yeah downward slope here to minus five meters, it actually starts to create some of these uh, typical underpasses. Before that, it's just a transformation of the landscape here, as you can see. So it slightly lowers the terrain coming from the straight line straight road here down to minus 3.75 before we actually get to minus 5 and after that well only after minus 7 .2, uh, 11.25 i'm sorry here we actually get down to the tunnel level i would say and i absolutely or these tunnels in city skylights too as you can see they are like real the only thing i do not like and this is kind of a graphics glitch here is you can see the water underneath um and as soon as i let the animation run you can actually see the water running um below the surface which might be another reason because that needs to be rendered and yeah it's never good to render something that you actually can't see. So there is a lot of room for like improvement for the developers, I think, over time. Um, the reason why I created this is actually because you have different um, like behavior that you can see whenever you're creating an, yeah, a road that leads over these yeah, sunken roads uh, and the tunnels of course yeah with the tunnels you might guess and you you're guessing correctly actually you're not seeing any any kind of impact here and i'm so, uh, sorry for being a bit sloppy here so i'm just creating a nice road there that that's somewhere close to parallel to what we have so coming from here that doesn't change anything from a tunnel perspective here you can actually create a simple bridge or something like it's automated you don't have to do anything i'm not pressing any kind of button here and this goes up to like even the underpath that sits at five meters and i'll show you the difference in a second um after that like it's no longer really possible to create an overpath um, except if you would change the height of this thing up to at least five meters then you would be able to create an overpass but i don't want to do that now um, i want to stick to the ground level here i want to just lead that road to over here and it doesn't really work because the game doesn't allow me to do that and coming from here i would do something like this and as you can see with the first option of course that's a straight straight road here then it goes downwards even more even more before the road automatically starts creating little bridges and the height slightly varies with minus five meters it's create something like a true bridge 8.75 meters you get a straight overpass here that's minus but that's five meters of bridge 6.25 7.5 meters and 
8.75 so 7.5 meters and 8.25 meters i would say they are very straight here the roads and then obviously you have straight roads all the way down to 11.25 meters before we get actually down to 12.5 meters where we have an actual tunnel so you can definitely keep that in mind for your future city builds if you want to have a straight road leading um, across one of these underpaths you should make sure that you at least have a depth of 7.5 meters on the lowest point just to ensure that this bridge is straight and that's about it with that quick tutorial and overview uh, regarding underpasses here and also tunnels yeah i would like to thank you for um joining me today again i really appreciate your time and yeah let me know if you have any questions if you'd like to learn more about city skylines 2 and some of the standard things but later on also about the advanced things here so thanks for joining again have a good one bye bye